So now in this video we're going to use 12 volts to light a few LEDs and this LED here will have a 1 kilo ohm resistor we can use 12 volts just fine this one's going to have a 470 ohm resistor protecting it it can really only handle about 9 volts so that's what that regulator is going to do and then this one the 220 ohm resistor to protect an LED can really only handle about 5 volts and so what we're going to do is use a couple 7800 series positive voltage regulators to protect them. So this is a positive voltage regulator, the 7800 series. There's also a 7900 series where the voltage, instead of being positive in relationship to ground, it's when you're working with voltages that are negative in relationship to ground. Now wiring it up is pretty straightforward. The physical component looks like this. This is the TO220 package. There's plastic in the front, metal in the back. Left pin is input, middle pin is ground, so is the tab up here. It's uh, directly connected. And then the output to the right. So we got input, ground, and then output. Now the uh, number here is 05. You can see XX there. That's the voltage out. So we're going to use the 7805 for 5 volts and then the 7809 for 9 volts. You do need at least a couple more volts coming in from the supply voltage than what you're getting at the output. Now the data sheet also shows these capacitors. You should add them even if you don't see them in the schematic. Data sheet says 0.33 microfarad, but I have 0.22 microfarad. Seems to work. Uh, that's from the uh, input pin to ground. And then the output pin to ground, uh, 0.1 microfarad is what they say on the data sheet. Now these do get really hot. That's why we have the metal tab. If you need to uh, reduce the heat more, they protect themselves by limiting current. If you're getting less current and uh, thus voltage than you expect, add a heat sink, that will probably uh, fix it. Luckily, it probably won't damage the component. They seem to just limit current as needed to protect themselves. And so when we get to the board, we'll be powering it with 12 volts from the supply, but the 220 ohm resistor and LED will have the 7805 protecting them. So we'll have five volts out there. We'll look at that with the uh, multimeter. And then the 470 ohm with the uh, LED will be protected by the 7809 so that we will have 9 volts out there. And we need at least 11 volts to uh, power this one. We have 12, which will be uh, plenty. The higher the voltage gets though with the supply, the hotter the integrated circuit will get, the bigger the heat sink you will need to get. So it's wasted uh, energy, that's heat energy, but if you really need that voltage, it's worth it. And so here we are on the board. 7805, the input to positive, the ground to uh, the negative supply there, ground. And then we have the output at the bottom, the flat side to the left, 220 ohm resistor to protect the LED. Remember, the LEDs need the long lead, the anode, towards the more positive side. If the LED is not lighting up, good chance it's in backwards. Short lead the cathode going to ground. Off to the other side, we have the 7809. You can see the two capacitors also are powering it to the same two power pins. And then we have 470 ohm resistor. You can probably see yellow there. And the LED again, long lead up, short lead down. And then we have a one kilo ohm resistor protecting an LED because that will work just fine for 12 volts. Power supply is set to 12 volts. I had to up how much current. Usually I limit current to 20 milliamps, but we got three LEDs being lit up that are in uh, parallel. So I bumped up the current. You can see how much we are doing, but we got 12 volts and the three LEDs look like they're about the same brightness. They are passing uh, somewhat close to the same amount of current each. And of course, what is really important is what all the voltages are doing. So I'll set the meter to a uh, voltage there. This is an auto ranging meter. You just have to set it to one setting. I'll dim the light. It makes uh, things look a little bit better on the breadboard. And so first, let's measure the uh, supply voltage, which is across this resistor and LED right there. So 12 volts, pretty straightforward. And uh, we can leave this on ground anywhere and measure the uh, voltage across those resistors. So there you can see we got about 5 volts. That may be uh, better if I had the two capacitors. We will uh, come up here with that one. But uh, this one I think will be pretty much spot on. 9 volts right there. Because it has the two capacitors in there you can see we have 9 volts right there. So now I removed those capacitors so we can see what happens if we don't have them. And so the meter is still set to measure Voltage, we can look at the supply voltage. It's uh, still showing uh, 12 volts, but if we come across the uh, resistor and LED, you'll also notice the lights uh, flickering for some reason. So for some reason, it doesn't like the multimeter. But there you can see, we're falling far short of the nine volts there. And uh, 
over here will fall far short of the uh, 12 volts right there. So those uh, capacitors are uh, really important. Maybe if we put a capacitor to the supply rail too, that may uh, be all we need to, uh, to help stabilize things. Let's take a look. So these are all good uh, experiments to uh, do when you're learning new circuits. And uh, looks like that helped a lot too. So just stabilizing the uh, power supply voltage with the capacitor helped a lot. So in any case, that's it for this video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have links down in the description. But just watching as many videos as you can helps out a ton. Make sure you turn off the uh, multimeter. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.